Strain Ranch Traffic. This is a Cessna 948 Bravo Charlie. We'll be taxiing for departure to the south. Strain Ranch. We're going to depart on 17. That'll be to our right. So we uh, brakes are off. Test the brakes and they work. Test in the turn coordinator and it works. Uh, the heading indicator works. Can't really see that well back there, but looks okay. Magnetic compass works. Strain traffic, 948 Bravo Tango, back to uh, 35. Good. We're all good here. We don't see anybody up to the north. We'll bring this around here. Don't see anybody down to the south on approach. Strain traffic. This is 948 Bravo Tango. Uh, departing 17 uh, to the southeast. So last final checks I do before the takeoff is... Uh, cars we're gonna we're gonna turn that on and we're starting that log oh, we gotta set the parking brake to do that so we're gonna start that log and there we go and, uh, autopilot check and it's off uh, transponders on uh, on alt which is good uh, feels good we got enough fuel. Fuel selector on both. Fuel indicator in. Uh, flaps are up. Um, trim is set to take off. Mixture full rich. And do a double check. Nobody coming in. Nobody coming in that way. So let's take off. Okay. So we're going to move out onto the runway. We align the runway. Confirm that. The heading, there are no numbers here. There we go. And then we're going to hit the timer. And we're going to hit start. And there we're started. And then we turn the timer off. Okay, full throttle. Rudder to align with the runway. And uh, we got a bit of back pressure on the yoke. We're going to rotate out at 55. And there we are at 55, and we have rotated out. Hand on the trim. We're, le we're looking for 10 degrees. And uh, feet off the pedals. Bouncing around pretty good. Trimming it up to take the pressure off the stick. And there we go, the pressure's off the stick. So we're off, and the time off is the 2011 uh, time off. Now, how do I write that down? Still maintain uh, straight and level flight. 17. 2011. Take off. 
0011. Okay, got it. I'm down. Okay, so we're up in the air. Trying to maintain a speed of 74 knots. 74, not 80. And then we're going to turn on to our heading here. Look at our, our first heading. So, that log. So our first heading is going to be 194, and that's going to be for 4.6 minutes. So one, bring it around to 194. Right through it. We're heading up for. Here we are on 194. Roughly 194. We're heading up to 3,500. So we're looking to see when we're over those power lines. And I don't even see the power lines down there. 194, 3000. Okay. So we're cruising. Taxi, landing light off, taxi light off. We'll do our radio call. It's train traffic. This is a 948 Bravo Tango, currently two miles to the south through 3,500. Depart in the area, final call, strain traffic. There we are, we're gonna level out at 3,500. Leveling that out, 094. We're gonna bug that heading. There we bugged it. Nine one, nine two, nine four. We're climbing again. So let's get her back down and trim that out a little bit more. And where are we? We're at our top of climb. I don't see those power lines down there. Oh, there they are. That's the power lines we're supposed to be over. So that's good. Right down below us. So that's good. And what are we at? We're at four minutes. And uh, what does our flight plan say? Our altitude's a bit high here. The flight plan says 4.6 minutes. So that's about right. We're just about on. Let's bring it back down a little bit here. We want to cruise at 110 knots. True airspeed. So we're going to back our... Uh, our, our power back to about 2400 and bring ease it back down to uh, 3500 okay Grab that altitude, uh, 3,500, there we are, right about at 3,500 now, ease that trim back up, One, 194, huh, Here, 
3,400 RPM. here so we're gonna back that back down right about here so we should be at about eight four four minutes out right about now and we look at our timer and we're 9.47 so we missed that waypoint and we were over rumsey when we did that so uh, the next thing we're looking for is over on our left now to our right now to our starboard side the biggest peak in the area is Rumsey Peak. That's what we'll call it. And that's probably that peak over there. I don't see anything else higher than that. That'll be uh, that'll be this peak right here. So this whole mountain is in a long line, reasonably close to the same elevation. On the other side, it drops down into another valley. Yo, what's good? Hey, hey, pirate. Hey Mac, how's it going? Are you? Wait, how long does it? Do? Oh, you're doing a wifi on one. Okay. Dang, I was. I was about to ask someone if I want to like, if they want to fly with me, you know. What you want to do a shared cockpit? Yeah, I want to do a shared cockpit. 
I was oh. thinking. Yeah. Like, I was thinking to do like ATR flight twenty six no uh, twenty two thousand to seventy six hundred. Uh, from Fiji. Like the Fiji Islands. Oh no, I'm up in California, mate. Nah, no, bro, it's fine. You can you can download if you want. No, no, no. I'm up in California. I kind of each time I start a flight, I, I carry on from where I was the last time. Kind of the fun. Oh. It's the fun for me. Oh, okay. It Dang. keeps it, it. It really keeps it from getting boring if I do that. Yeah. Otherwise, I would just get kind of tired of it after a while. Yeah. It would be like eating a steak dinner every time you had dinner. After a while, I'd get tired of steak. Got to have some variety, right? Yeah, which day is better for you? You think Cali is better than the rest of the states? Uh, California? Yeah. Well, I've been to... Uh, I flew kind of across the states once, flew back, and I spent a, a bit of time in North Carolina, and I've spent a bit of time up in Washington and Oregon, and I've only been down in California for a couple of weeks. Dang. Are the prices high? Is it what they say? No, it seems to be the same all over the country. Oh, although, gosh. although I was up at a little, I went flew over to uh, a little place on the coast, and I looked at the real estate prices over there, and houses are cheap. You can buy a whole house for a couple hundred thousand dollars right now. In Cali. Yeah, on the coast, with an ocean view. Wait, which one? In the south or north? Uh, it's sort of mid. Can you see my screen? Um, yeah, I see your screen. Yeah, tell me. So that's my flight right now. That's where I'm flying. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm just I'm just north of this lake. The big lake you see out there is this lake. So oh. if if, yeah. if you go up the coast, this uh, we landed at this little airport here, and I was checking out the real estate prices. Um, yeah, really cheap. Nice place, nice place. Shelter cold. Dang, that's that's tough for me right now. Like, bro, I live in Europe. Now I'm trying to get to US. Oh no, you stay in Europe. It's probably better there, right? Eh? Hell, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to stay in Europe, bro. So I think there's an airport up over there that I want to go check out too. Um, it's a neat airport. It's what's it called? It's called. Um, let me look it up again. Mysterious Valley. It's a dirt Whoa. dirt strip. It must be the Death Valley, actually. No, I, but yeah. it's it's really desert like over there. But uh, I'm okay, then that that's definitely Death Valley. Yeah, so that's it just at the head of the lake here. I wonder if I can divert now. No. Yeah, I, I no, I think I'm gonna go over now and check it out. I want I wanted to see that. Oh, okay. So heading off, altitude off, autopilot on. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm actually about to fly ATR seventy two six hundred for the first time. So yeah. You know, I was thinking to come to the United States, but it's kind of tough to like, decide where. For example, Georgia, Florida, they're like one of the best states right now out there. One of my buddies down in Kelly, up in North, tell me that you should come here. But I look at the prices though, and they're like, everybody be claiming that the prices are very high, and the inflation is like, Oh yeah, I'm here. You got you got yourself taken, right? I'm sorry. You you got quieter all of a sudden. I can't hear you very good. Um, you must have done something different with your mic. No, it, it has to be fine. 
I just bought the mic. There you go. You got you got loud again. I can hear you again. Yeah. Should I come to the United States? Oh, I don't know. Where about you live now? Yeah. You would guess, bro. Uh, Italy. No. No? Where about? There was a meeting with. Um, basically, there was a meeting. Donald J. Trump, Putin, and the Finnish president. Can you guess where? 2017. In Finland. You're in Finland? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty neat, right? Yeah. No, I think I think, I think that's it there. I think that's Mysterious Valley right there. Mm. Yeah, I think so. You know, guess what's behind my back? Yeah, the elevation there is 1,410. You want to know what's behind my back right now? Uh, your seat. My seat was behind me. Oh, I don't know. Yes. The the wall. One hundred stars is the hint. Hundred stars behind my back. Can you guess what they are? No, I think that's the airport. Yeah, that's it. That's Mysterious Valley right there. Oh yeah. Basically, behind my back are the United States of America flags. Whenever I speak or talk with someone, they tell me that you have a Texan accent, which I pretty much actually do. You agree on that? Oh yeah, you bet. Oh shit. I should definitely come to the United States, I should go to Texas. They'd be like, oh, you sound so Texan. Mysterious Valley traffic. This is 948 Bravo Tango. Currently, one mile uh, to the north at 3000. You bound for a technical Mysterious Valley. Mysterious Valley? 948 Bravo, Danko going around. Mysterious Valley. Oh, I'm going around. Yeah, I see. I mean, you were like quiet. Bro. I was like, why are you so quiet? Uh, you know what? I'm going to start my flight. I'm going to start flying. Okay, I already, already told you. There's one eight. I don't know if that's ridiculous, but... My friend, he doesn't want to fly with me. He keeps ignoring me. He flew with someone else two weeks ago. No, I got like... Uh, I'm gonna piss right now. Because he's not answering. He told me that he's gonna do it. He promises. But his promises are always false. So, 
I just, I, I just, I know he's from Canada, so I just told him that, okay, if you're from Canada, you can basically say, like, basically what I say to him is, Canada sucks. Say, America is better. Waiting for his response, but he's not responding. I'm um, Mr. Mysterious okay. Valley, this is 948 Bravo Tango, left downwind for uh, three, for one four. As well. so, immediately when I said Canada is bad, he just responded. He was like, hot. I was like, yo, this dude. Okay, so that he's was done, one four. One four is two four. Oh, I'm too high. I uh, know I don't. Um, are you planning to make it? Uh, no, no, I'm just going to fly virtually. Oh. I was planning to sign a license. Do you want to know something that not many people Sure. Can you guess what's my native first language? I uh, know I can. <laughs> Come on, guess. That's so easy. Italian. Yeah. Uh, it's the language that we're So this is right Mysterious now. Valley, 948 Bravo Tango, um, left base for 1 4, Mysterious Valley. I've been to Italy but it was two times. Have you ever been outside of US? Like have you ever tra traveled to somewhere like Australia? No, I've never been to Australia. Oh. Anywhere else? What for? So you were like, basically you are born in the United States, but you have never been outside of the United States? No, I I, uh, I wasn't born in the United States. Oh, oh, damn, my bad. Does your Microsoft take so long? Oh, I'm talking on the radio right now, and I have a push to talk when I talk to you. Mysterious, Mysterious Valley, this is 948 Bravo Tango, final for 1-4, uh, uh, touch and go, Mysterious Valley. Yeah, I was too fast on that last approach, so I had to go around, so I'm hoping my speed's a bit better this time. Yeah, there are no spoilers. All the spoilers in, bro. All the spoilers.
open the door. Uh, Mr. Esfelli, this is 948 Bravo Tango, uh, taxi 32 for departure 14 uh, to the southwest. Mr. Esfelli. So I think uh, I think this is the best way to take off will be uh, to the south because uh, if I take off to the north I've got that mountain that I have to climb over immediately after I take off unless I circle around and come back in over the airport. Nice lake over there, good place for a dip on a hot day. So we'll use the short field takeoff technique on this one. Which means we'll have our flaps down 10 degrees. Ah, oh, nice, nice scenery here. And the uh, ground speed, you want to keep it to 14 knots. I think we're at 13 right now. 12. So that's not bad. Here we go. Uh, looks a little bit greener there. I'm a little bit nervous. That might be swampy in that area there. So here we go. So we're going to want to leave. We're a little bit high here. I want to leave my mixture up so I can get full RPM. So I've got the landing lights on, taxi lights on. We're got another takeoff. We're exactly, almost exactly 30 minutes in. So 20:42 for a takeoff again. 20:42. So full brakes, flaps down 10. Looks like they're confirmed down 10. Full throttle. 2,300 RPM. Twenty. Let go of those brakes. A little bit of back pressure on the on the yoke. Keep the weight off of that nose wheel. And 
then once we get off the ground we're gonna use the ground effect for a short short while then we're off so we use the ground effect here get our speed filled up bring our flaps up check if they come up they have indeed come up and then we're gonna VY we're gonna bring it up to 10 degrees in the trees and then we come back on we're gonna fly down south a little ways we're almost due south to here till we get to the airport so I think we can fly down there just on uh, using pilotage well that was fun taking a little break and stopping at mysterious valley There we were, we just stopped off at the Mishra's Valley. We're a little bit west of our course. So we'll fly down to the south until we pick up this uh, this arm off of Lake Berryessa. And we should be able to see uh, the Pope Valley. And then up in the saddle, we might be able to see Angela. that reach, the arm of the lake coming up. So we can probably bring her around to uh, 194. I think Pope Valley is going to be dead ahead of us. will be uh, down in here off of these big flats. If, if I look at the open street map, you, you can see that there's these big predominant reservoirs here. There's two big ones. Hope Valley is just above the second one over here. And I think that one of these reservoirs will be the one that's uh, just up there, so I'm think Pope Valley. I'm imagining Pope Valley Airport is just going to be in this area here. That little lake is probably that one. That lake there is probably this one. Yep, that's the airport. I can see it now. You see it's an asphalt runway. 
So we'll land uh, to the north, come in, and uh, land to the north. We'll do do a quick check, see if there's any prohibition against touching those. Looks like I should be able to do a good touch and go there. Uh, Pope Valley traffic. This is a 9-4 A Bravo Tango. Left downwind for the west uh, west approach. I got a wind out of the south. A kind of a quartering, quartering tailwind here, so it'll be, a, be better for me to land facing the other way. But it's good practice for a touch and go. Uh, Pope Valley. 948 Bravo Tango, left base for 28, Hope Valley. Uh, Pope Valley, 948 Bravo Tango, final, 28, touch and go, Hope Valley. Ground speed there, 80 knots. I think I was fighting that trim a little bit there. So Polk Valley 618. So we want to climb up to 1,300 and we'll do our turn left. Uh, Polk Valley traffic, 948 Bravo Tango. Uh, taking off 28 and then to the west. Uh, Polk Valley traffic. 94 at Bravo Tango, left cross wind, uh, 28, Hope Valley.
okay, we're at pattern altitude, so we can turn. We're gonna go up to Ange. Ange win. Uh, Pope Valley traffic, 948 Bravo Tango, uh, two miles to the southwest at 2100, part of the in order final call, Pope Valley traffic. And with traffic, two miles northeast at 2200 inbound for landing, and with traffic. One six and three four. And when pattern altitude is two thousand eight hundred. So 3-4 is a right-hand pattern, so I'm going to have to move around to the other side to uh, join the left downwind. I'm going to get my power up to 2,400. Oh, I want to hold an altitude at 2,700. I creep crept up too much. I want to be at 2,700. I'll let the plane come down again.
patch with traffic. This is 948 Bravo Tango, oh, one mile to the north, joining right downwind. 3 4. I think my altimeter's off. Oh, no, I should be at 2.9. Angelin traffic. This is 948 Bravo Tango, right base, 3-4. Andrew and Trapper. Antoine traffic, this is 948 Bravo Tango, final for 3 4 and a full stop. Antoine traffic. I want it 70. So it looks an awful lot like a display, display threshold here. There we go. Andrew in traffic. This is 948 Bravo Tango. Back taxi on 16. Andrew in traffic.
and engine in traffic. This is Knight Boy Bravo Tango, clear the run man. down was two zero 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 and the engine is about to go off okay that really off key off and what was what was bong in there I'm good Okay, so the engine's off. Really quickly, what time was it? Get a quick time. I got a time of 21.05. The timer's 53. And we're also going to stop this. So we're going to disconnect. Fifty-three. Fifty-three. Twenty-one. Oh four. What's the Hobbs? The Hobbs was fifty-eight point three. Yeah. Okay, so that's great. So we can turn that off. Interesting how it's all on a slant. Do I do it now? Oh, it's still on a slant. Weird. I wonder how I tilt that. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Got to get that uh, that woman to get out of my plane. Not bad. We'll take a quick picture of that. There we go. And the flight was logged. Send the sea cars in. We're going to stop that. And we're going to save it. We're going to send it. Looks good. And we're going to exit. And that's done. So we're going to save the aircraft state. So we're going to save the position. And save this twenty four zero nine zero seven A M G W I N. Save that, so it's been saved. We're going to save the location. Should have copied that last one, but it's not a big deal. Twenty four zero nine zero seven A M G W I N. Edwin that turn that off and that's pretty much all she wrote nice uh nice little airport here I'm gonna go take a leak run out behind the building here I suppose I should go over here into the trees a little bit Probably would be a 
be nice in the other than peeing up the side of the guy's building here. Hmm. Nice day. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty here. It's pretty.